hey guys welcome back to my channel i've got an amazon wig this time for you guys which i got from maxine hair it is a 13 by 6 hd frontal i got mine in 26 inches and it comes up to just under my boob and i actually cut off like two inches i wanted the ends to be a bit more full so i did cut that down so you guys can see I'm going to put the link to the hair in the description box if you would like to purchase the hair go and check it out it's 180 density girl if you're watching and you're enjoying these videos hit the subscribe button because there's way more hair content to come let's jump straight into the tutorial kind of right now individual socks but it's 15 is it diner or dinner 15 diner dinner how do you say it? Pull that right down, cut some eyes. Make sure you like pull this back, okay? You want this to be as see-through as you can possibly get it. Just gonna apply that directly to the stocking cap. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? I got holes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large Thinking back to the fact that they dead Thought my raps on the facts so they sat with the bars I got two Guys, this is my press on powder It's so like discombobulated I don't know how this happened I'm literally just going to Apply that directly onto my stocking cap So you can see already that old cap looks so seamless but to make it just that bit more seamless what you want to do is get the Ebon Wonder Lace Bonding Glue, not the spray, you want to get the glue, take that and apply the smallest amount like the tiniest amount to it and like press it down like you're gonna be like stocking cap wear from Maxine Hair from Amazon the link will be in the description box look at her so where the lace on like the ear side attaches to like the wig cap I had to cut that off because the hair wasn't actually coming like forward it was like stopping right here so I decided to cut it off so I can like pull it forward it was literally like coming over here and you can see my stocking cap is showing through there so I literally just snipped off the back and I'm going to like obviously apply it this way the wig already came pre-plucked a little bit so I did go in and pluck it a lot more not even a bit more a lot more because bleached it so now we're just gonna go straight in and I'm gonna glue it down <sighs> hmm okay so I'm gonna show y'all a trick you want to apply anything to your forehead that you can like wash off whether it's pencil eyeshadow you literally just want to do it around the perimeter of your lace front so when you apply your glue you're not getting your glue like on your forehead Make sure you spread it out as thin as you can and I would highly recommend using a spatula because it gets it really even. Just use a cool setting and dry the glue until it's tacky. 
you don't want it to be too wet because when it's too wet that's how it seeps into your lace and it makes it very difficult to remove the glue when you take your wig off your head you want the glue to stay on your skin and not on your lace <laughs> So I'm literally pressing it into the glue with like the slightest pressure, like the most minimal pressure that you can use. Just get your powder and your small brush and just dust it off. I'm just going to take some of this and secure down the edges. Wow guys, my spray is nearly finished! I'm going to put my band on my lace for about 50 minutes. And make sure when you put your band on your lace, you stretch it out so that you can get the tightest melt that you can possibly get. These are my Tony and Guy straightener. I really love this straightener because it goes all the way up to 235 degrees. Put some serum on my hair. I'm literally just using like one pump. I'm literally just using got to be spray to hot comb it. I've already heated up my hot comb on the stove. I literally got this um, hot comb from my um, hair shop. You achieve a different level of like heat with this hot comb. And that's the reason why I prefer using this one over the ones that come with the cable in it. And then I'm going to go in with my Ebon wax stick. I like to focus on the back just to make sure I don't have a hill on the back of my head. Because hills is not cute. I'm feeling this. I think maybe when I'm older, I'll tap into the like no baby hair look, but for now, your girl gotta have some sort of edges. All right, so I literally just tied my hair off camera and took out the edges that I want. And I'm going to thin out my edges a little bit because this is just way too much hair for baby hairs. Take any scissors and I cut in a downwards motion. And just curl those edges upwards. Honestly, shout out to whoever figured out this hack. Because when I first started doing wigs, I was not doing this. Yeah, so I just used my argon oil mousse and used the comb side only. I can do my hair with makeup, but I prefer to do it without because it just allows me to like get real like messy with my um, mousse. I feel like the more mousse you use, the better.
Looking back to the fact that they dead Throw my raps on the facts that they sat with the bars I got two phones, one need a charge Yeah, they twins, I can tell they ass apart I got big packs coming on the way I got big stacks coming out to save I got Lil Max with me, he the wave It's a big gap between us and the game In the next life, I'm trying to stay paid Okay, so I've got to be sprayed. I don't want too much, I just need like a little bit. Yeah. But I think I want to have fluffy edges today, so I'm actually just going to comb these out. Yeah. I want like a messy edge. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm gonna start doing this more often. This is nice. I'm gonna go ahead and crimp my hair with my Ibalus crimpers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.